Today, you're going to learn how to add bit samples to your FL Studio mobile projects like this one. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is open FL Studio Mobile and usually what you do when you want to add instruments or samples, mainly samples, you click on the audio clip and then you can select some of the uh, samples that come by default. So you have the symbols, you can do the same thing with the snares and other types of loops, etc. But what we want to do here is go to my files and select our very own samples. Unfortunately, it is empty by default. So it is now our job to find our very own samples and add them to FL Studio Mobile. So what I have here, I have two folder windows on the right. You can see that I have my uh, drum loops that I got from Cymatics. And on the left side, I have uh, my programs uh, files. Uh, another Windows is Explorer window and I want to go inside locate the image line folder and double click on that because I want to copy my loop inside of it. So from there, I click on FL Studio 20. Once I open this, I just have to go to the plugins folder. I double click on that. Then I go to the fruity folder. Then inside of the fruity folder, I select generators. Inside of generators, I simply go to FL Studio mobile and uh, it is right here. So I double click. Then I just have to go to local data. Then I, when I open the local data folder, I just go to my drum sets. I know it's kind of long winded, but that's how it is. So I double click on that and then I just copy my loop inside. So I can drag it and drop it inside of it. That's not my favorite uh, my favorite method of doing that because I, I notice that usually it disappears from the original uh, folder and I want to maintain them in both. So I can simply click on that. I hit Control C on Windows and then I go to the other window and hit Control V to paste it inside and then I can maintain them in both uh, locations. So now what we can do is simply head back to FL Studio uh, and we click on the icon to add. We go to Audio Clip, My Files, it is still empty. So the solution here, what we want to do is uh, restart FL Studio. So just go to the top, click on the cross and um, uh, go back to your Start menu and um, once you reopen the application, uh, we can open the channel rack right here. Then I'm going to go to add more plugins. I select FL Studio Mobile. Then I can now click on the add icon. I go to audio clip because it is a loop an external audio. Then now when I go to my files, I can see my drum test folder, uh, that folder. And then I can see that it contains my loop. So when I click on my files, um, Notice that the mind drum set is showing now because it has contents. So when it is empty, it's invisible. So um, now I, I've clicked on my loop so I can I can see it here. I can manipulate it, copy it, stretch it, uh, add effects on it, etc. Um, so I can also copy, paste it multiple times in that playlist and uh, make a song out of it. So I hope this helped you. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. Uh, like it, share it, uh, leave your comments below. And um, please uh, make sure you check the links in this uh, description if you if you want to support this channel. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers.